The Broken Hearted. This is Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. How are you? I am exhausted today. Just really tired. <laughs> I had a long weekend so far. and I got a lot to do today. It's Sunday. I need to prepare for um, the upcoming week and Oh, God, I just got work from both jobs to do, and I don't feel like doing any of it. But it's got to get done. <laughs> Nobody's going to come over here and do it. All righty, the brokenhearted. Who is she? Who are they? Who is he? One thing about having your heart broken, it can really stunt other things from coming into your life and um, one thing I am observing is some and I'll go more on the women have experienced heartbreak and disappointment from you know maybe an ex or it could be the person that they're with broke their heart but they quote unquote you know, repair the relationship and they're still with that person. Now, what I do pick up on is the resentment, the bitterness is still very much present. So for all of us, if you have had someone disappoint you, and I'll give you a couple examples of what I'm talking about, stepped out on the relationship, stepped out on the marriage, had a child, uh, maybe while you are were kind of on break or, you know, they had a baby. And so now you have um, kids, you know, you're married, you have kids with them and they have an outside child. Uh, maybe, I'm, I'm just going on the woman kind of, maybe the woman feels as if she's doing everything throughout the house. The husband, he is contributing, but she feels more worn down with um, household duties, her job, and he is working and paying the bills, but not helping out. So she's feeling burnt out. That's where I'm going with that. And it's like, it's still a resentment there, a bitterness there, which understandably so. When you are burnt out, it creates fatigue. And no one, no woman or man is going to be really thinking about romance when they are burned out. It's just a, a tough place to be, and it doesn't create anything good behind it. But the brokenhearted, you know, even the guy, I know some guys, the lady has duped them, you know, or they're hung up on someone who does not want them. One of the worst places to be is like stuck on someone I'm stuck on you but they not thinking about you and it creates a dynamic of depression of maybe am I good enough or are you like stuck you can't move past it I've been I've been there before I've been broken hearted before but one thing you do have to do when you are broken hearted you have to find that healing from somewhere you got it's something you got to do um, you can give it time and space. Maybe take out this time, you know, instead of doing what people love to do, mask the pain with a bunch of liquor, mask the pain. I'm going to do a bunch of edibles and mask the pain with buying a whole bunch of new clothes. I'm going to mask the pain with playing a lottery or going to the casino or I'll mask it with dating multiple people and sleeping around. That way I won't feel. None of those things I just named work. They actually make the problem way bigger. So, the you know, when people said that and say this, take the time out to heal. Spend some time alone. That is the most empowering thing I have ever done for myself was to really, truly take out time to heal. I remember going through all this stuff. Oh, just a mess after my divorce. 
and dating different guys and which none of it worked out and I I became ill and I just stopped dating period nobody wasn't romantic and I noticed a happiness came over me because I had a clear mind I wasn't even worried about some relationship not working out it's a time and a place for everything and it's a season for everything. Sometimes it's just not your time to be involved. But when you focus on yourself, one of the most powerful things you can do is practice that self-love and go inward and really love on yourself. And and what does that entail? What does that look like? It looks different for everyone, I'm sure. But for me, loving on myself, it means putting myself first. It means what I'm going to do right here, right now, what I got next to me is my journal. I just listened to a sermon by Tony Evans. And these are things that builds up my mind and makes me feel good about me. Because I tell you what, if God wakes me up on Monday morning, tomorrow, I have an allegiance to myself to be happy. No friend, no sister, no man, nobody's going to come over here and save the day for Tammy. That's what I have learned. If it's going to be, it is up to me. And I have an allegiance to myself to be happy. It doesn't entail anybody else. So with me, if you want to make me happy or you want to be in my life, you are going to be doing math with me, adding to the happiness that I already have. I don't want anybody coming, subtracting from my happiness. I do not need drama. I do not need the theater (laughs) moves, the acting, and all of that. I, I want sincerity and someone that's going to add value to me. So that's what we need to look for, especially after we have been brokenhearted. We need to look for that anyway, even if we haven't been. You want someone that's going to add value to you. So before you can even get to that, you add value to you by taking care of yourself to the highest. That should look like possibly going to that doctor. That's one of the most important things to me. Make sure you do your yearly evaluations. The mammograms after 40, sometimes before breast cancer runs in your family. Have your colonoscopy. Men, have the prostate examined. Make sure you go to the dentist because as we get older, our teeth, you need those to chew with. And that's part of your digestive system. What are you eating? Are you eating a bunch of junk or have you incorporated some veggies, some fruit? For me, I swear by my vitamins. I just took a handful of vitamins. I take the B12, I take the D, um, and that D is helping me sleep, and I'm still, I sleep okay, Uh, I don't sleep okay, I do, well, I did last night a little bit, but that's an area of my life that's a little off, it's been off for years, but anyhow, let me not digress, and I do a multivitamin, and I do a CMOS, and I do a probiotic for digestion. I incorporated Beano recently. I've been having some digestive stuff going on. Ever since I had chemo over 10 years ago, it it really did something to my gut. So I do try to make sure I keep the digestion, you know, going good. Exercise is another good one. My Fitbit said I exercised twice last week. I don't know what I did. (laughs) But, you know, it's good if you can do it even more, three, four times a week. Uh, what else you all I love good books I have uh, Michelle Obama's new book I do some meditations I do some journaling and all of this is part of um, my self-care and self-love whatever you can do to help yourself this is not just for women men as well you know the, the manicures and pedicures really do help you feel better a good massage um, you know all of those things Take care of yourself, especially when you're brokenhearted. Be kind to yourself. You know, it's a de- delicate time. Sometimes when we're brokenhearted, you, you just feel so bad. 
You want to talk to people and all oh, listen to me. That is when you would go down the hole a little bit worse than you were. So many times when you talk to people about relationships, what they're going to do is give you the story about what happened to them. So if their man ran out with their best friend, they're going to tell you that that story. If um, their child's father or their ex-husband is real mean and shrewd and they don't get along and it's just been a bad relationship, they're going to give you that story. If a guy been hurt by a lady, he going to give you the story that you can't trust these women. And this is why talking to people can be the worst thing you could do. And all people, nope. But some people you will regret opening your mouth because they are going to spit out that bitterness or negativity that they felt in that relationship. You got to remember now, most people, a lot of people operate out of fear. So they're not going to be thinking about a happy ending. They're going to go to the dark side. Human nature to think negative is, is a little bit harder to think positive. Talk to, to talk to someone who has a track record of success in the love category. They've been married 30 years. They've been married 15 years. You can tell as much as we all can tell because it can look good from the outside. People, they don't be happy sometimes. So do your best with that one. We never really know. But if you know somebody that looks like, you know, they, they look like that. Okay, you can kind of look and tell with, with relationships. It looks to be respectful. Not one person kissing butt. I don't, I'm not, I don't like those type of relationships where somebody dominating and they being derogatory to their partner. No, no, no. I'm talking about respectful, where they treat each other with respect. You, The love is there. You know that couple when you see them because you can tell how they interact. The love is there, and they're very kind and loving to each other. Talk to that couple because you know what they're going to tell you? They're going to give you the real. They're going to give you the skinny. They're going to say, we've been together for 30 years. It hasn't always been great. We had our ups and our downs. This is what I always hear when I talk to these couples that have been together a long time. But through it all, we always found our way back to each other or we make it work. Or I love my wife. I love my husband. We, he's not perfect. I'm not perfect. They're going to give you the skinny. I know somebody, you know, real close to me, real sweet. And guess what? When she talks about her marriage, she'll say, yeah, he's got his ways. And he's kind of stubborn, you know, but, and she'll say little stuff, but it's not like she, you know, their stuff is perfect. So be careful if you're brokenhearted, who you speak to. This is why I always recommend therapy. You can go to therapy if you're brokenhearted. And that's what you say when you sign up. I'm depressed. I'm down. I had a, a broken, I have a broken relationship. I'm going through a divorce. It's taking a toll on me. I was in a long-term relationship. It's really caused me some anxiety and depression over this breakup. I need to talk. A good therapist, they are going to go through that with you, process your pain, and just stick with it for three to six months. And you're going you're gonna to feel better at the end. If they're not helping you, you, you let go of that therapist and go find you a new one. But don't sit there brokenhearted and be bitter. That's one of the worst things you can do because it's not going to help you in the future for your next relationship and it's not going to help you with your most important relationship and that's with yourself if you don't want to do therapy hit that barnes and noble hit amazon and get you a workbook about trauma heartbreak get you a book about how to heal past heartbreak one thing about it we have to help ourselves we can't be the victim we can't be downtrodden if you want to have a good life and um you know that's part of the game of love you you throw your cards out there on that table hopefully you'll get the winning hand but sometimes you know you 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 won't and Kenny Rogers said you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them sometimes that relationship is not the best for you and you fold that's when you fold but your heart Definitely want to hold that.
close to you. The brokenhearted, there is hope for you. I've been there before. I've been there a few times. And it, it's a bad feeling. It, it feels like you're not going to come out on the other side. But you get out there and you fight through the rain, the snow, the sun. You exercise. You get up in the morning and do something for you. You focus, focus. If you got to do a freaking list of 20 things, I'm going to do 20 things today to stay busy, to feel better, do it. And if you don't have the energy, do five, do 10. If it's so bad where you can't do anything, you'd have heartbroken, this is where you solicit the help. Hit that Barnes and Noble, hit Amazon, get you a book, get do something, but be careful who you talk to. And really, you want to just really tune in on yourself. And do those things that can strengthen you so you can be greater later. Broken hearts do heal. That's the good part. Especially if you want to let go of that hurt. It will heal. Time is your best friend. Time is a beautiful thing. And with time, each day, you become greater. But you got to believe it to receive it. What my nephew said yesterday, my great nephew, I'm over there getting my hair done, and we were watching the show afterwards. And um, it was a, like one of those shows, uh, it's called The Floor is Lava. So they have to do obstacles and get to the escape part. Or you fall into the lava. Here go my great nephew, Micah. They just have to believe, you just have to believe in yourself. That's what he was telling the TV. <laughs> Five years old. You just have to believe in yourself. That's that's it. You got to believe in yourself. You got to believe in healing. There is healing at the end. There, that's where you turn to your faith, your Bible. If you're a believer, you pray, you say affirmations. I am lovable. I love me. I am whole. I am complete. I am a beautiful person. I am a handsome person for my gentleman. I am a great person. I am great in relationships. I am a good wife. I am a good husband. Whatever you desire, you speak it. You speak it. I am healed. A gospel song we used to sing. Oh, those gospel songs have pulled me through some of the lowest times. and still do. I still refer to gospel music. It is a healer. Listen to those lyrics. I am healed. Don't hold on to that brokenness. Because guess what? People, they're not going to want to. They're not going to want to hear about it. People only have a short time span for you. And they're going to move on to what they want to do. And and you have some of those long-standing, long-suffering friends or family members. Those are jewels. Hold on to those people. Now, those are the ones you do want to talk to because they're in your corner until the end. And they do not speak negativity. They're always going to be positive. My mother was like that. Always positive when it came to relationship stuff. She always gave me soft, subtle advice. But it was always beautiful. <laughs> She didn't speak negative on a lot of people. She wasn't that type of person. She was a sweet, soft, gentle lady. And she spoke well of others. So that's somebody I could always talk to. I could always talk to my older sister. Always. She's not going to beat down the ex. You know, she's very, she knows my ex very well, my ex-boyfriend. She don't speak negative over him. You know, she tell me the truth about relationships and things people should do. And, you know, she gave me advice, but it's never from a negative place, you know. And that's why I could talk to her. I could talk to my god sister in California. She speaks life over people. My my um, god auntie, 94, Miss Laura, she know all about relationships. She's always helping me in that area. So those are some of the people I talk to and I talk to my therapist that's why I have her I'm a therapist and I have a therapist so look at that so yeah the broken hearted there is hope I could talk about this for uh, two hours easily because it's a big problem that many of us face it's not only romantic broken heartedness it could be you know relational with your family members and stuff disappointed 
It's supporting. Get the support you need and focus on you. Tomorrow, God wakes you up. You owe it to yourself to look in that mirror and to be happy. That's the thing that motivates me throughout my life. I owe it to Tammy to be whatever that is on the end of that be, to be happy, to be successful, to be kind, to be a good auntie, to be a good friend, to be a good sister, to be a good employee. I owe it to me to be a good business owner. I owe it to me. I have to look in the mirror at me and smile. I can't, that you know, if you wanted the key to life, get it off of other people. Nobody gonna, because ain't nobody gonna save you. That's what I learned the most. Nobody is going to save you. It's not gonna happen. No matter how much you think adding them to your life or your friend and my this, it's not gonna happen. We're all flawed. We all we have our own stuff to deal with. People are busy. People are stressed. People are depressed that you don't even know. So they can't save you because they can't save them. You owe it to yourself. And when you think like that, the sky is the limit. You're going to notice your life is going to just change, like instantly almost. Put yourself first. You owe it to yourself. And always have hope for a brighter day. Treat people kind and things will go good for you. Show love. Show love. I'm brokenhearted. Show love. Still, even in your pain, show love. Do not be bitter. It comes off easily. It's very recognizable. If you're bitter and broken, people are going to know it right away, especially in that romantic category. Even if it's not, if you're bitter and broken, the way you move and speak, it shows. And they're going to be able to tell. And trust me, people run from bitter people they just don't want to be bothered it's not a good vibe to give off you know and sometimes if you're too down you know i don't like to tell people to isolate but you don't want to go around people like that all messed up take that time out for you only you know what works for you i, I can get on here i got 300 some videos now i can tell you all my tools i use i say the same stuff journaling meditation prayer my daily word Yana Von Zant book, this workbook, therapy. I told you all my stuff that I do, vitamins, I do the fresh juices, this and that, you know, exercise, walking, this, that. Yeah, that's me. But your thing may be different. Find it. Find what you, you might need two things. You might need one. I don't know. <laughs> Only you know because we're all unique. I hope something I said helped. I know it's a little long-winded. Like I said, I could talk about this with two hours because it's a big deal it's a it's a big topic and it's a bad feeling it really is but you are not forgotten because we all can relate to having our heart broken time is your friend you're gonna be okay tammy sharice walker please subscribe to my channel and thank you for listening if you're still with me on, on the end here and hit the like button for me thank you bye-bye